UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya recently spoke about the positive impact that Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, and Dave Goggins have had on men. Jordan, Andrew, um, Dave Goggins, guys like that, they're the ones who are really, I guess, to be honest, pushing men to be, to be accountable. In a podcast interview with Brazo's YouTube channel, Adesanya praised the trio for pushing men to be accountable for their actions. Andrew Tate, a kickboxer turned social media influencer, was recently detained on suspicion of sex trafficking in Romania. Jordan Peterson is a Canadian psychologist and best-selling author, while Dave Goggins is a retired US Navy SEAL who has helped men turn their lives around with his motivational tactics. Adesanya believes that these men are pushing men to be accountable, something that the world is trying to soften. According to Adesanya, the world is trying to emasculate men and make them feel less masculine. However, he believes that it is important for men to take a stand and to be proud of who they are. Adesanya also spoke about the importance of brotherhood and community, even if people have different beliefs and mentalities. He believes that fighting brings people together and that this is how the world should be. In summary, Adesanya praises Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson and Dave Goggins for their positive impact on men and their ability to push men to be accountable for their actions. He also believes in the importance of brotherhood and community and how fighting can bring people together. Andrew, um, Dave Goggins, guys like that, they're the ones who are really, I guess, to be honest, pushing men to be, to be accountable as men. And, you know, like the world right now is trying to like soften us. Yo, we can you know? as well. Yeah, dog. Like, I uh, mean, what did they say? I think it was, um, what's his name? Jordan actually said, you know, the, was it Jordan? Like how you how you um back in the day that um you know if someone like the the kings and whatnot wanna stop an uproar or uprising would kill all the fighting age males. Yeah, the twenty yeah, like the yeah. twenty the fighting age Kill and, them. And the, Can't kill them right now, so what do you do? You fucking give them sugar. Exactly push make the fire. Them feel, make them exactly. feel make them feel bad about being make men. Make them feel emasculated. About one to talk to girls, yeah. incels, all the create. There you go. I've heard that term. Yeah. What is that actually? And what is that? What's I've like? Been hearing a, that one too. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's like but a guy. I, I know like, what it so, means. Like uh, not like, like a simp, but like a. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like somebody like yeah, they're like yeah. afraid to be like who they are. Exactly. You know but now nah, I mean, you just have to take a stand. Like I, I know who I am. I know you know who you are. And I like the fact that we have a crew of people who actually like stand. And we're all different people, like different walks of life, I'm sure. I don't want to get too much into it, but everyone in here has different beliefs, different mentality, different, even I hear politics and stuff like that, and they riz on each other for it. But it's funny, but at the end of the day, we're all brothers, and we're all still a community, and fighting brings us together. I feel like that's how the world should be. Fighting brings the world together, bro. Everybody needs to train.